Hello and welcome to Let's Get Critical, the YouTube internet sensation where you send in your architectural images. So today we have an image sent in by Justin Myers. So without any further ado, let's get into this. We'll critique one of our images first and then uh, it's a similar image to what Justin had sent in, a vertical, more kitchen type of image. So let's get into it. Uh, our first image here is from a shoot that we did with Winkleman Architects, uh, Will Winkleman Architects, and it was in Down East Main area. And this is a really nice image in my opinion. I really loved the kitchen and the architecture and the location was uh, really, really nice too. I've got a hair hanging off the microphone. So uh, if I'm gonna critique this image, um, some things that I would do differently. Um, I don't necessarily like how we have this um, loss of contrast in the brighter areas from outside against these darker windows. It's something where if you don't use a lot of fill flash that you'll get um, kind of loss of contrast areas against darker window frames if they are darker window frames. Um, what you can do to avoid that, use a lot of fill flash, but uh, using fill flash in this situation off of the ceiling where you typically could isn't going to help that much because we have a very dark and then very yellow ceiling. So um, we had to kind of use what we had. You could use a direct fill there. And I'm guessing from what we see here, even there, we probably did do some of that. But um, in post, I would probably just select that whole area and play with the contrast curves across there to make it not quite so obvious um and looking at this now i'd probably take some of the green out of the ceiling there just a little bit um styling wise i really i do like everything we have going on there uh not too much to criticize there i love this little tray that we have going on i think i believe it was janice dunwoody that did the styling on this i'm not entirely sure um and I love how the side shelves are are each kind of framing the view and pointing out the window uh, with their uh, vanishing points heading that way. Um, I wanted to be about at that height to see to the top on the top of the countertop and on top of the stove. The higher you go, the more informational something becomes, and when you're a little lower, it's going to be have a little bit more feeling to it so it's always kind of that game of you know where do you put it um you'll notice that we didn't turn the faucet straight towards us it's always kind of a uh do you do cat ear corners on a pillow or do you karate chop um sometimes we point the faucet at us sometimes we point it away life has a lot of issues like that but you pick them and you move forward uh let's see i might have open this pantry door a little bit there. Right now it's kind of confusing actually. So if we had maybe opened that a bit, kind of like right about in there, maybe that could have been nice. Um, but yeah, other than that though, I just, the architecture made this such a, you know, a really nice image. And uh, this, this is one of my favorite images as far as just the feel of it and everything. Um, so yeah, that's about most of the criticism I'd have for this image. So with Justin Meyer's image here, we have got some color going on. That's always fun. Um, and it seems very consistent and neutral here in the foreground, middle ground. Uh, goes a little blue back in this area. Uh, and is very blown out over here. Now, that being said, I'm I'm not a huge proponent of not letting things blow out, uh, which is to say that letting things blow out is not always a bad thing in my opinion. Um, we've got a bit of a hot spot on the ceiling there. We have a shadow line there. So I'm imagining we maybe have a strobe hitting the ceiling. Uh, what I would say is if you did have a strobe hitting that ceiling that I would have uh, also done a uh, bracketing layer without the strobe and just brought in the natural ceiling with the natural color. Um, but yeah, in post, I probably would have evened this out because, you know, we have hot spot, 
line, darker, you know, brighter, some stuff right there going on, some shadow line from that, just that ceiling and like, you know, really hot there. Um, just that ceiling in that kind of quadrant of the image is a little distracting. Um, the antlers here, I don't know that I would have put them there. It's, it's just adding a lot to an already kind of busy part of the image. Um, in this area, everything looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I would have even faked a fire in here a little bit. Uh, maybe. Uh, let's see. The metal on your refrigerator there looks pretty good. I'm imagining you did that in post because I, as most of us would know that those can be really difficult. Um, I think the interaction, the blur on the dog and on the, I'm guessing, homeowner and everything else there is is pretty natural, and I like that. Um, not loving all the reflections on the glass here, um, like this bit here and uh, this bit up here. It seems like those are reflections, you know, and this down here. I probably would have put a black sheet. Uh, you know, just to the corner of that or on the other side to really maybe get a natural exposure uh, with all the lights off to, to let that fill in so you really see that there's glass there, but it is not really highly reflective. Um, let's see, this the glass on the right has a very green tint to it, while the uh, glass on the left is a little more natural, maybe more magenta even. Uh, the color difference in the uh, espresso machine there from there to there is, I don't know, maybe I would have desaturated most of that. Um, let's see. I do, the the composition of this is nice and I, I love that you have kind of this area, you know, that pulls you beyond the image. Um, I, you know, it's great, like the color here and the color in the shoes, and the blue shirt. It's a very lively image with a very, uh, very subdued background and everything else with just some real pops of color, which is kind of fun. Um, and I do love this, you know, this ceiling situation kind of adds all this dynamic stuff going on. Um, I don't know. Uh, this right here, the, the lines of the chair being right on the edge of the frame there are a little distracting. Um, but everything's even there. This just barely coming in over here is is a little distracting. You know, these these things that start to get busy in here, you know, I'd, I probably would have eliminated a lot of the stuff over in here and maybe put these two round pieces just like here and there just coming in rather than where they are at on that chimney i'd imagine that is um let's see uh da, 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 da. is there anything else critical i can say here it makes me feel like a really negative person by the end of this but uh that's how we improve right <laughs> Um, this is a little blue here to get this more even, I probably would have done a strobe layer over here to, uh, eliminate this really kind of color cast in there. Um, let's see. What else? Now, I don't know if you do this or not, but what I typically do is do a base layer for the entire image for each different area that we want to get just right in post. And then also uh, do a single layer for the lifestyle. I'm not thinking you did another layer for the lifestyle here because I can see what I think is the reflection of the dog in the, um, in the uh, fridge area there. Um, but usually if you do that, if you shoot separately for each area that you see in the image and then also for lifestyle, you have a lot more control over things in post. So I don't know. I think I might have 
add a little bit of vignetting in post. I'm always telling Tim, yeah, a little bit more vignette. Uh, it's kind of like more cowbell. But uh, I hope that was constructive and not simply critical. Uh, again, a great image and really appreciating, uh, really appreciate you sending it in. Uh, if you guys are liking this, hit like and subscribe and send us more images that we can uh, do some critical approach on. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Bye bye.